Right then, here we are. Um, I'm going to show you in this video that you really can cook two huge T-bone steaks on a little Kadak Safari Chef 2. Now you can see I've got the barbecue, it's on, it's getting hot and here are the steaks. They are absolutely enormous. We're really lucky. We've got a local butcher very close to our home that we try to use and support. And every now and again, as a special treat, we pop in before we go away in the caravan and I just ask for a couple of good sized T-bone steaks. And I usually say, can I have them thumb thick? So there you go, you can see they are a good sized steak. So I'm gonna show that we can cook these on this little tiny barbecue and have a really nice meal. So let's have a look and see how we get on. Okay, so let's pop them on. You can see the barbecue's already smoking and let's get those two steaks on there God, and good. in position. You have to squash them in, squeeze them on. They just about fit. There you go. God, it smells gorgeous. There we go. And that's it. And we are now really going to spend the next few minutes just cooking those two bone steaks. It's not good for vegans, though, is it? No, it's not. No. For vegans, you can have a carrot. Okay. That's no disrespect to vegans, because I know you're very well, nice like people. Carrots. Sorry? They like carrots. Well, they do. And yeah. um, a barbecue carrot is lovely, but yeah. today we're talking about sea bone steaks. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Look at them. They're still sizzling away. We've still got them on the first side. Haven't turned them over. Uh, just leave them there for a couple of minutes, because as you know, as you'll see, they are pretty thick, these steaks. Look at that. I can't tell you how good they smell. Okay, and I'll just leave them like that. Oh, here comes the rain. And here's another beauty, you see. This is why we're under the wind-out canopy. Because we can still cook. We're still outside. We've got the upcycled windbreak that we've shown you. I know. <laughs> and of course, We've got a glass of wine. <laughs> That's not exactly our first, I can assure you. So, right, let's come back on these uh, in a second. Okay, I'm going to turn the steaks now. Look at them. And just give it, turn it over. Get them into position. Obviously, as they cook, they shrink a little, which does help you to get them on that barbecue. They need some vent television. Well, they do. Okay. <laughs> There's the T-bone there. Brilliant. And that barbecue at the moment is on full blast, so there's a lot of heat going in there, but it should cook it quite nice and slow. And we'll see when we uh, take them off the barbecue later. But just how succulent they are. Um, yeah, that's good. We'll come back to you again shortly. Okay, um, I'd say these have been on five minutes each side now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we're going for the second turn. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Obviously if this was a restaurant, five minutes each side and they'd be done by now. But this is not a restaurant, it's a Kadak gas barbecue. So okay. A little longer. <laughs> shake and temper, shake and temper. <laughs> and there we go. Just, just get them on there. Oh my god. Get them back into position. I'm so gorgeous. Okay. I'm dribbling. Brilliant. Come back again in a few minutes. Oh. Right. They've been on now for another couple of minutes, so we're going to turn them this time. But we're going to put this side, which is the fat, on the inside just so we can get that cooking. I'm going to turn them back to back like that. The fillet, the fillet bit doesn't necessarily, like That's right, this, this is always, this bit here, the fillet is always really tender. Mm. So that's nice. So let's just get that bit cooking 
uh, on the inside there. I'll leave that there for another few minutes and then we'll come back to you again shortly. Right, we're going to turn it again now. Um, as you can see, you can see when it starts to get cooked because it starts to break away from the bone and you start to get those cracks in it. That is a really good sign. Now, we don't like incinerated steaks. We just like them nice and juicy. So, I don't know, but you're gonna have to wait. So I'm gonna turn that again. Okay, that's been on there again for another three minutes, I think, three or four minutes. So let's just turn that again. Spin that round. Okay, we're not far off it. It's starting to look really good. So we'll just get these bits of fat here. So that fat goes into the meat and gives it the flavour. Again, you can see starting to break away there from the bone. So that is a really, really good sign that this is going to be an excellent steak. <laughs> Calm down, Mrs. T. Okay. So, we're going to go and have another sip of wine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're going to let that go on there for another three or four minutes. Does it sound like we've had a few sips of wine already? <laughs> oh, it does you, my dear. Okay, yeah. okay. can't help it. And uh, yeah. we'll be back to you again shortly. Okay, bye. bye. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's turn it for the very last time. And uh, you can see the juices that are sitting on the top there. That is absolutely fabulous. One more turn. Woo! There we go. Good job you've got the fire bucket over there, just in case. Absolutely. One more turn. There we go. And we're going to leave it like that now for another two or three minutes. And then what we're going to do is just turn that barbecue off and just let them sit there. Just for about a minute, minute and a half, possibly two minutes, just to relax. And then we're going to put them on the plate. See you again in a minute. Okay, so barbecue has now been off for about two minutes. Mm -hmm. You can still hear it sizzling, but mm -hmm. it has started to relax. So we're going to pop those onto plates. Put that one up onto that plate as well. There we go. And then come over here to the table. So there we are. What we've got here is two really good size T-bone steaks and they are gorgeous. How now, much you pay for that in a restaurant? Right, well this is the thing, you see. We don't do this very often. No. If you bought those in a restaurant, I, well, I don't know, I've never bought a T-bone like that in a restaurant. But these two really big steaks cost us £23 from a butcher. And that is a lot of money just over 10 quid but we're not going out to eat tonight it's our guilty pleasure though, it is it? our guilty pleasure yeah. of course it is and why not we don't do it all the time no. and it's just one of those things where we will now sit down devour those over the next <laughs> half an hour we won't talk to each no. other and you've got that rump steak you've got a bit of sirloin in there you've got that lovely bit of fillet and it's going to be gorgeous let me just cut into that and show you what that is like look at that see that that is just perfect some people might like it a little bit rarer no, some gorgeous. people might like it a little bit more well done but that i can assure you is absolutely gorgeous look at that can you see that so there you go that's it that is how to cook a couple of rump steaks on uh, a kadak um, barbecue so if you've enjoyed that <laughs> which we are about to yeah. please give us a thumbs up would really really appreciate it and please hit that red button and subscribe the more you subscribe the better it is for us because we can bring more things like this to you to your so, table Yay. to your table there you go so thanks very much for watching and bye for now